Hey everybody, BK Stunt back here with you for The Walking Dead Episode 4. Uh, this is video number 3, and we're in a sewer. Not the best place I could think of to be in a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, we just escaped a horde of zombies. Got separated from Kenny and Clementine. Not good. But at least we're not about to die. I guess, you know, got that going for us. Uh, not much we can do. Got to walk down here. I'm glad he's being careful. It does look pretty dangerous. Sewer rats. Walkers must be down here too. Yeah. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. So we got a hint that there's some walkers down here somewhere. And there's a pipe over there and a passageway here. Not much we can do with it right now, but we will use it in a bit it's a drainage pipe it doesn't have a uh, wheel on it though oh shit Looks like they're eating on something. There's quite a few of them. Okay, let's head in this passageway. And you'll see... A pipe. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. This one has a wheel. We can turn it left or right. Go ahead and uh, turn it right. You'll see what it does. So I pretty much let some water out over there and it's the game's way of telling you that the noise will attract the walkers. Shit. So let's go ahead and turn the water off. Just do the opposite of what you did earlier. And you'll see the walkers disappear. Kind of a bad view, but this is the passageway from the inside. You may as well use the ice pick on it. Well, let's go get this first. Notice it has an icon to take the wheel off. It's exactly what we want to do. And now it's in our inventory. Okay, now let's go use the ice pick on this door. You'll see there's actually a latch that was keeping us... Uh, from coming in the other way. But now we got a passageway around the corner over here. So we want to attract the walkers over here if we can. So let's put the wheel on the pipe over here and turn on some water over here and make them all come this way. Then we can use that uh, passageway to get around them. a lot of water too okay time to move go 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 to the passageway you gotta be a little patient right here No 
Don't want to go out too soon. I haven't tried it yet, but I gotta imagine that's instant death. Okay, looks like the way is free. Let's continue on. Let's see what they're eating on. Oh dear God, it's Chuck. Oh my God, Chuck! He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. I didn't know he had a gun. Better, old man. He wasn't with us for very long, but I like Chuck. He was a good guy. Okay, let's try to take this one out silently. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, they got you. Go ahead. Once you've killed it, deal with the zombie quickly. I used my gun, but in hindsight, the ice pick probably would have been better. Yeah, see. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. Just head to the end. Go, uh... You can't do anything with this great. You want to walk up to where the sign is and check it out and you'll see above the sign is a ladder. Kind of broken. Try to use your ice pick on the ladder. He'll try to do a molly and he'll fail. But Lee is lucky as hell. Look what he just found. Go ahead and interact with the sign. And God damn, you just found a way out of here. I'm kind of surprised the walkers don't follow you. I don't know anything that would stop them, but oh well. Ah, fallout shelter. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. For months. Yeah, that's awesome. Wonder if someone's living down there. All that food is definitely something to keep in mind. Okay, let's open the door to continue. Nothing else we can do. Oh shit. People. Who are you? Oh crap. Okay, here. It's all right. It's okay. I recommend I staying calm. Trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. You had several Look, options. I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Oh Are shit. You from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you that woman is uh, not definitely around. not helping us, is she? Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Oh, bitch. Vernon, what do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it, you're right. I'm sorry, friend. Okay, <laughs> this is bad. Just stay Crawford, calm. But I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Now here, you want Keep to take his gun. Or I swear I'll shoot. Even though he says he'll shoot, go ahead and take it. It's all right. It's okay. I can't Vernon, believe you got away you with that. Vernon. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. And only now will they realize that uh, you're not from Crawford. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or 
vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. <laughs> How did you find your way down here? My group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Now here you can choose to have him show you the well, way so back. Like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Oh, she's a bitch. Look, if you don't, I'll kill you. <laughs> I just want to get back to my people. I need to try I'm that one. <laughs> she's your daughter. No, she lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. And so... We convince the doctor to travel with us. Which is excellent because he can check out Omid. As you would imagine. There's quite a few, uh, quite a few survivors here. One, two, three, four, five, six at least. And right back to the house. Clementine? Well, that was easy. Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Hmm. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. No. Oh. That thing was handy. Oh well. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. Hmm. Huh. What great luck Let's they see have. what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Okay, we have control now. And the doctor doesn't want us to watch him work. So if you try to go back into that room, Clementine, they just yell you? at you. Where is she? Just for the record. So we should try to find Clementine. Clementine? She's not in this room, by the way. I'm just wasting time right now.
Clem, you in here? Clem's drawings. But where is she? Well, that's kind of a sad drawing. I don't know why they give you the option to use the sofa. It's not like you can do anything with it. Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> yep, just like I said, they'll turn you away. Clementine, you hear? Clem? Yeah, if she was using the bathroom, that would have been really awkward. Hello. And we have Molly in here. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Hmm. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Well, there's a lead for you at least. Head downstairs. I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. And Lee is in no mood to investigate anything that isn't Clementine related. Molly? I told you, that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me. <laughs> Yell Come to time. attic door. You up there? Shit. Where could she be? Okay, we've Clem? uh Clementine? Messed around enough upstairs. May as well go see Clementine. Kenny. Come out, please. And he found the whiskey, of course. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. <laughs> you want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not going to help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? He's got a point. Hehehehe. <laughs> Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, <laughs> don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Yeah, Ben's an idiot.
We know somebody's been following us and has Clementine? been talking to Clementine, but Clementine! hey, you know, let her go play in the backyard on her own. I guess to be fair, Clementine just does stuff sometimes without asking. Doors covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in through there. I doubt she's gonna listen to Ben. When you get out here, just uh, look at a bunch of stuff. You'll eventually get this little scene. And now you can use the shed door. Oh! Oh, there she is. Must be good. And it is. A frickin' boat. The whole time. This was here the whole time? I know, right? That's amazing. Hahaha. <laughs> Kenny should be so happy. Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Uh oh. I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Man, Crawford's the only place that has that. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on. <laughs> Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, 
grab what we need and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. Hmm. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Hmm. Oh, this sounds dangerous as hell. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Hmm. I can't lie to her. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? <laughs> you said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Yeah, maybe. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Oh man, she's throwing every reason in the book at you. Can't I come with you? Well, you got a choice to make here. Although, as you can suspect, not really a choice. Since I already knew she was going to follow me. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. I said yes. Exactly what you're told the whole time. Of course, I only said yes okay. because she followed me to the river. Still need to try the no option, but you know. She followed you to the river without really asking... She's going to follow you this time, more than likely, so you may as well say yes. Well, i got to cut the video right here. When we come back, we will head to Crawford and try to get all the supplies we need. Uh, that will be a good video. Okay, uh, next time, part four. Later, guys.